We know that this economy was bloated. We know that there was a bubble. We know there was much too much lending, much too much credit that was extended. So, Congressman, what is a healthy level of lending in the credit market? Well, and we know that there was a lot of excessive lending because Congress, that now wants to tell the banks how to be run, uh, forced banks farther and farther in the 1990s into making more and more bad loans. I mean, this is really astonishing, I think, to most Americans that Congress that has, what do we got now, like a $10 trillion national debt, doubled the national debt in the last eight years, is going to start telling these failing banks how to run their books. I, I strongly opposed the banking bailout last fall. I opposed the president of my own party and the leaders of my own party because I don't believe we can nationalize every bad mortgage in America. I don't believe we can nationalize every failing bank in America. We, uh, what, what troubles me about the, the, the impending announcement by the Obama administration is it just seems to be more of the same. More uh, taxpayer dollars being shoveled from Main Street to Wall Street okay, but and more micromanagement you, but from Capitol Hill banks, of our financial sector. Do you agree, because that argument is made a lot, do you agree that the banks need more capital if they're going to lend? Absolutely, and there's an enormous... So how can you say you're just throwing money after they have an actual There's an enormous amount need. of capital in the marketplace. You know, one of the ironic things right now about, about the proposal is we're hearing rumors uh, that there's going to be an insurance element of this where you ask the banks to actually pay an insurance premium. That's what the Republicans proposed instead of a massive bailout put on the backs of taxpayers. We proposed that last October and we're told absolutely not. It can't happen. It had never worked. Now apparently it's going to be a centerpiece of okay. the plan. In terms of capital, though, to your point, and it's the right one, how about we, we suspend the, uh, the high taxation on repatriating corporate profits? We can bring a half a trillion dollars back into this economy without...